All right, today I'm going to try a little experiment here. You ever hear the term ESP? Extrasensory perception. What is it? Who knows? Parapsychologists for years and years and years are trying to figure it out. Is it a coincidence? Is it a something psychic? Is it a luck? Somebody could pick up a pen and say, hey, Joe Blow owns this pen. Never knew Joe Blow in his life. But yet he named that. Is that psychic? Hey, could be. I would think so. Who knows? Could just be plain luck. Let me give you a typical example. I know it's happened to me. It's happened to a lot of people. You're home and you're going to call your friend Charlie Chang. That's right, on the East Coast. You pick up the phone, you start dialing, and boom, the phone rings. And who's on the other end of this line? Charlie Chang. Was that uh, luck? Was that coincidence? Was it a, some type of premonition or uh, psychic thing? I'll tell you one thing. Nobody knows. So this is what I'm going to try and do with, the, with cards. So remember, this is not a trick. It's just an experiment. And to see, to test somebody's intuition. So your name? Glenn. Glenn, do me a favor. Give the cards a little mix, okay? We're going to start out with this. Mix the cards up. And cut them if you like. So we don't know the order of the cards in here. It doesn't matter anyway, okay? Now, I'm going to spread through the cards. Just touch one card. Right here, I'm going to show you the card. I want the audience to see the card. Okay, Glenn, put your finger on the card, please. Okay? That being done, what I want you to do now, I want you to take the card and put it any place in the, in, the, in the fan here, in the spread, right here. Okay, it's somewhere near the top, but we'll, we'll, try and, uh, we'll try and get rid of that, okay? We'll try and get rid of that. It can be any place now, all right? Now, let me spread this out. Now, your card could be the top card, the bottom card, somewhere here, somewhere there, somewhere there. We don't know. But here's the experiment. What card did you pick? Could you tell me for the first time? The Ten of Hearts. Now, if I just tell you to reach in and touch a card and pull it out, and your card, the card you pull out happens to match the original card you picked out. Is that luck? Maybe. Is it uh, coincidence? It could be. Is it uh, chance? Well, it's one in 52. It could be, you know, it could be a chance. But I happen to think it's more uh, a more of a psychic thing. Okay? Even though I, I don't know anything about that, but I that's just my beliefs. Like I said, it's not a trick or anything. But reach in there now and touch any card. Right here, you say? Okay. Now, remember, you could have selected any one of these 51 cards. Right? Any one of these 51 cards. But you selected this card here. Is there a reason why you selected that card? Huh? You think it's possible that's the Ten of Clubs? If I show it to you, and I take it out, and I show you, show the audience, now I ask you the question. Was that luck? Was it a psychic thing? I really don't know, and this is not a trick, and I'm just showing you. Thank you, Charlie. I mean, thank you, Glenn, for all your help. Thank you.